Hi everyone, I am going to be reading Lesson 3, Reading 1. How do I know how humid it is? It says, please read and answer the questions that are highlighted. If you would like to listen to me read, obviously you clicked on the link. So let's get started. Always, we have a getting ready. Number one, have you ever felt hot and sticky without doing any exercise? Describe a time when that happened to you. Where were you? What were you doing? What time of year was it? What was the weather like? Okay, so please be very descriptive. Go ahead and pause the video here and answer the question. This sticky feeling is one way that you can tell the air is humid. Humidity is a measure of how much water is in the gas phase in the air. Water in the gas phase is water vapor. Some people talk about water vapor in the air as making their skin feel sticky. Humans are sensitive to humidity. Sweating is how our bodies keep cool. When there is a lot of water vapor in the air, the sweat evaporates more slowly. Because of this, our skin feels moist and we feel hotter. People may talk about the, uh, about the air as heavy. As you read, compare the ways that you know it is humid to the ways that scientists measure humidity. Okay, so how do you know it's humid? How do scientists measure it? Measuring water in the air. In class, you used a sensor to measure the amount of humidity in different places. You may have measured the humidity in the classroom, the hallway, and outside. You may have found that the amount of water vapor in the air changed on different days or changed in different places. How can hair show that air is humid? Before you read further, you may need to learn a new meaning of the word relative. You know relatives as your grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. That is a way that people use the word relative all the time. But in science, relative also has another meaning. Relative is a way of comparing things to each other. Scientists compare the amount of water in the air at one time to the maximum amount of water that could be in the air. Relative humidity, okay, relative humidity, is a way of talking about how much water is in the air compared to how much could be in the air. As the amount of water in the air increases, so does the relative humidity. You might hear on a weather report that the humidity is 60%. This means that the air is holding 60% of the amount of total water vapor that it could hold at that temperature. As air gets warmer, it can hold more water vapor. The maximum amount of water vapor that air can hold depends on temperature. A hygrometer, hygrometer is an instrument used to measure relative humidity. The sensor you used in class, which is a sensor that I actually used, is one kind of hygrometer. Next, you will read about a hygrometer that uses hair to determine whether there is water vapor in the air. Have you ever had a bad hair day? Some people call it a bad hair day when their hair is frizzy and sticks up everywhere. Those people can use their hair to know something about how humid the air is. Every strand of hair can be shorter or longer depending on the humidity. On days that are more humid, hair becomes longer. You might experience that as frizzy hair. An instrument called a hair hygrometer uses hair to measure humidity. The instrument uses strands of hair fastened at each end. The hygrometer measures very small changes in the length of the hair. Throughout the day, the hygrometer uses the hair strands getting longer or shorter to show how relative humidity changed. Weather observers pay attention to humidity. As the air cools, water vapor, or gaseous water, condenses and forms drops of liquid water. Those drops combine with dust particles that are also in the air. The billions of water molecules and the billions of dust particles join together and form a cloud. When you see a cloud, you know that a lot of water vapor and dust in the air are what makes up that cloud. When clouds are full of water and the temperature is right, you experience either rain or snow. The next time you have a bad hair day, you know it is because of the amount of water in the air. Frizzy hair is evidence for something that you can explain scientifically. Now we're comparing hygrometers. So in class, or according to Ms. G, you used a sensor to measure humidity. In this reading, you learned about a hygrometer that uses hair to measure humidity. Which one would be more accurate? Give reasons for your answer. So which one is more likely to be correct? 
go ahead and pause the video and answer the question. Meteorologists are scientists who study weather. By measuring the amount of water vapor in air, they can make predictions about the weather. Air that has a lot of water vapor in it is a key ingredient in thunderstorms. Like other scientists, meteorologists make predictions based on patterns. Knowing the relative humidity and knowing weather patterns helps meteorologists predict when thunderstorms could occur. You might think it is interesting to learn more about how meteorologists make predictions using patterns. You could read more about weather in the library or on the internet. All right, guys, just those two questions. Don't forget to turn in, and I will see you on Thursday at 2 o'clock for class. Bye.